Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm Franz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to show you an egg card. Uh, my daughter sent me a picture of that that she saw on the web someplace. I think it was on Pinterest. And voila! Is that a cute chicky? It was not this one. It was just an oval, I think, for the chicken. The little chickadee, but I used something else. So we, I'm going to show you this. Uh, it was made on this way, but I wanted one stand up too. So I'm going to show you how to make uh, those cards. Plus, uh, while I was doing that, I thought of something else. So I'm going to wing it in front of the camera too. So first, I'm going to tell you what you're going to need. You're going to need the oval collection. And in the oval collection, you're going to need the biggest of the flat one, the one right after the scallop so it's one and then two and that's the biggest one you know the flat not the scallop but the flat that's one of the framelit I'm using another framelit then I'm using it's <clears throat> the adoring accent hedgelet and this is going to be for our little scallop here what I done I pre I did pre done a lot of stuff so I had time to show everything I a uh, three quarter inch wide and you can do it longer than your egg so that would give you a place to play with just cut this on your big shot and then keep those two pieces together okay and while you're going to do this you might as well do two cards at the same time um like this I did too and the reason why it's because you want different color top and bottom so this one here I would use my this pattern up there and then up there so that way it's easier to make two card at the same time and then the other um, framelit that I'm using it's the word bubbles I don't have it in there because I put my chicken the other way I didn't have place right here I got, um, this is the word bubble that I use the circle one there, and that it's using with the stamp set just saying, the ooh, -ooh right here. The, <clears throat> the next, um, this here, it's the modern label with the window punch. What I like to do, it's stamp my greeting, and this is from the Tiny Teeny Wishes. I like to stamp that first, punch it out, then my punch out from the word window, put it on a piece of scrap paper. This one, it's pool party. That way, when you come to line up, you can match it perfectly. It worked the best. Then I use the flower shop um, that go with the pansy punch. You can uh, buy the bundle. The pansy uh, punch with the flower shop go perfect together. The bundle, it's on page 93. But the flower shop, it's on page 94. So if you want the bundle, look on the top uh, right corner of 93. And just the stamp set, it's page 94. And again, that was with the pansy punch. The little flower inside, that's the, the stamp set, the pity, uh, petal, that it's in the occasion catalog. And that to come with the, you can have it with a bundle with the punch that matched that. The, it's called the pitted petals to the, the punch that match that. Then, like I said, for my, um, whatchamacallit, my little chicken, she had a different one, but I'm using the bird punch. So you're going to need one of the wings and one of that. And that I did it in, um, Daff excuse me, Daffodil Delight. Okay. This here, it's attached. I'm going to show you how to do this, but it's attached with those uh, mini uh, brads. And I like the mini, mini one. Um, the legs are longer in the back and it's easier to uh, make it open and close. But in the back, I really dislike when I see my brads on a card. So I put a flower there because this is where you're going to write your greeting. Because you really don't have place to write nobody there. Except if you're like me, I would sign my name there and call it good. I'm not a writer. So, but you get place in the bag to write whatever you want. So let's get started. Like I said, it's easier to do two cards at the same time. So I'm going to show you this one here. Well, no, I'm going to show you this one. 
and then the other one it's the one that I said I'm going to wing it it's the same thing depends the way you want to do your uh you know cut it cut it on the long way or this way so I'm going to use this pattern with this one and this is uh, from the short uh, sherbert from celebration and celebration is going to be done um, <clears throat> March 31st so it's time to uh, get some stuff if you want it this one I put it about just over the two there to cut it if I want it this way I go about the two and a half does it make sense but we're doing the long egg today so just over the two all this good there and yes you want to cut the two at the same time so it's going to match then <clears throat> move this is the groove that cut just move it about right there at the end of your um, board that cut there just move it a little bit that's to give place to put your edge lid and um, here we go make sure it's cut on both ways so if you don't do this then you don't have the place to put your edge lid and to move it easy okay this is your bottom the top we're going to do the same thing you want to take just about it's about one eighth of an inch to be uh, if you want the measurement here we go okay so now we're really ready to build our um i need some glue gel here we go okay this is our top this is our bottom okay i'm going to use the bottom of this the top of this and this is going to be for another card you see how i mix that move that aside we're going to take one of the that's the same size uh, framelit oval just the regular uh, whisper white card stock what we're going to do and this one here need to be glued just in the bottom like this here not the top don't glue the top because the reason why you want to place like your little chickadee there okay we're gonna do we're gonna take our framelits here and whoops we're gonna glue our framelits as much as you can in the bottom without seeing your dsp so I'm going to take this, put that right here. Here we go. Now the top one, you don't want to glue that one because that's the one that's going to open and close. So you're going to put it right there. And then you're going to take your matching uh, framelits. You want to make sure you add it on the right side, you know. Okay, I got it. So turn it around to put your glue. You don't want to put the glue on the scallop because if you put the glue on the scallop, it's going to glue on the other part. So really just put a bit of glue there. Now leave this in place like it match your egg under and we're going to bring that to match our scallop. Oops. Did I move it bad there? Here we go. Now leave it this way. Take this turn it around and then we're going to cut the shape that we need this is what i was saying you want it longer than shorter because uh, it gives you a place to play with and voila get some glue there one thing because if you i leave this this way see it don't want to move i take the the corner there and i just put a little v in it now and we're going to put our bread, put that right back where it belong. I'm going to take a little um, mini brads. They're the silver mini brads. I'm going to poke this right here on the top here. Mm. Put that right here. Open this. Then I would take one of the flour that I already pre-punched and done and I would take a glue dot and the glue dot what I like to do with it's just do a little ball to put it right in the center of my opening there 
So that way it still gives the chance to move it around. Voila. Make sure I got it good in the back. Okay, now we're ready for our chicken. What I done, uh, which side do I like it? Uh, I like it for the hoo-hoo, whatever there. I like it that it go this this way the face this way so then this go this way good i had a tough time see this don't go this way it turns so we're going to put the face that way just punch your bird and then i'm going to take a uh, pumpkin pie or tangerine tango this is pumpkin pie i'm going to do the beak with pumpkin pie this is it then I would take um, one of the candy dots, whatever. Here we go. I got it. Take one of the candy dots. Oh, I don't have the... Here we go. Put the uh, little eye there. Then I took a wing. And the wing, I'm going to trim it a little bit. I'm going to take the wing this way here. Just trim a tiny bit. Again, sponge. Sponge. And then we're going to glue our wing right here. Now he's ready to go inside our car. Oops, don't have enough. Mm. I would need a glue dot with this, I think. Now it's stuck there. Let me reach a glue dot. Put my little wing here. Here we go. Take your card. I'm going to use like two glue dots here. And the tail sometimes get in the way, so you can snap the tail off. And then put it up more straight up, not like a bird, more straight up. So it looked like a little chicken peeking out. Voila. Then we're going to take our hoot oo. Put it right here. Voila. This is it. See this now that we cut that? See it open and close easy. Now what I done, I... um. And use pool party for my flower shop and this is crushed curry put the dimensional in between and put a little pearl there so now i can uh, glue that right there with a dimensional i feel i'm losing my mind i thought i had everything here i bet i do have everything it's just i had a big mess going on so what i would do Put it on your top petals because you don't want to put it in the bottom so you can put it on the two top petals because this need to be moving so put it right here so you cover the hole there on the side so then when you open and close voila how simple it is then it's the same thing i pre-done my uh, greeting like i explained to you uh, do the word punch put that one on a scrap paper and then punch with the modern label it worked wonderful put your happy easter there i use little pearls over there this is it okay the other one that i said i think would be great again use two different one this one we won't use the edge lid so we can go down up down up down up down up and it doesn't matter how you do your down up down up now i'm gonna use this and this so that's why you need to do two at the same time so they match now we're gonna take again our white i would glue that there glue that there the same thing cut the corner voila this is going to be pretty the way it goes this is it my time it's over Hope you learned something new. I'm going to have the finished product on my website at FrenchyStamps.com. Thank you and have a great day.